what is up guys and of course welcome to another VPL League battle actually with yours truly of course the Scarander and we're going up against uh, Slow Formula or Greg actually just setting up at this moment and we won our previous match and we actually a few more matches to go before this hits off he's not online I, I love Festival Plaza don't you guys love Festival Plaza I think Festival Plaza is the best Let's see, don't see <laughs> you. <laughs> oh my god, I really hate this game. I really hate Festival Plaza. So, wait for him, of course, to invite me instead. Uh, anyway, we won our first game against Green Crafty, though it was, I would say that he played the game uh, better. Very much so, but, uh, you know, we got the momentum we needed, and, you know, 50-50 like at the end, and got the win just barely... So, I hope to pull something like that again. And uh, now I see him online. Um, so, or I don't hope to make it this cl that close again. We actually need to win this one. We need to win every game possibly because one of the players that won their previous match also won um, the, their follow up match. And only the top two players actually making it further. And since I was the worst uh, between the winners. And uh, this only made this thing kind of worse. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I need to do my very best here. And we know exactly which teams we're bringing. Um, that was the only thing. Like we drafted six Pokemon, you know, based on OU, UU, and RU. And then after that, followed that up with, of course, that we have to pre predict each other's, or even who know each other's team, we have to kind of counter, um, go and counter team it basically. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see, this is what I'm going to bring. Checking team. Had issues with this, so yes, it went forward. Awesome. So, um, yeah, I actually have a uh, hidden or natural gift, Drapion, which didn't pass because it was from the wrong region. I've, um, it, this berry that it has on it is able to actually hit his bus fall for super effective damage. As it brought exactly what it should have brought. Um, now here's the thing. Suicune is super tough for me to be dealing with. Uh, but other than that, I should be able to do fairly fine for this matchup. Now I'm going to lead off with my God of War. Who, for this specific matchup, actually is Specs. Because I kind of figured that would be the ideal overarching theme going on here. And... Um, Raikou is Calm Mind, kind of counterproductive against his Sukune. Hitmonlee is probably the one thing I fear the most, actually. And it has mostly to do with um, that Hitmonlee can use Fake Out, you know, get the speed boost there, which is uh, actually sweeping my team. Even with Rough Skin in mind on my Godchamp, it's still kind of... Ah, that's scary. Um, so anyway, that's the team we're going with. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I barely remember my team. <laughs> Actually, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, Jolteon also is one of, one of the things I fear the most is that Jolteon could be quick feed over uh, Volt Absorb, which is always going to be this. Uh, but other than that, I think I should do well, and if I don't, it's okay. But I do want to win. But it's against Greg, and Greg is great, so it's it's always an issue there. As he's going to lead off with Jolteon, so that's fair. We're going to see whether or not he's quick feed or not. Um, please be. I'm going to trace Volt Absorb, right? So he's going to spam Shadow Claw, I was going to say, but that's not right. He's going to um, go for a Shadow Ball. And we can freely go for a Moon Blast. He has nothing that necessarily resists that, and Shadow Ball should not kill us. So we get an ideal situation here. Uh, he's going to withdraw that. He's probably fearing me to be Scarfed. As Sukun comes in, I wonder how much damage Sukun really take here. Because it's going to be nasty. And my cat is so annoying right now. It's like, give me attention. <laughs> right, Moonblast. Alright, that's um, as great. That's actually pretty darn awesome. As we should be able to actually just throw him another one. We see leftovers though, so that's always going to be annoying. And if he's a bulkier variant, then he has to rely on rest here. Uh, if it isn't, and he's actually outspeeding me, then he should be able to go for a Calm Mind before the Moonblast actually connects. So, I think he's trying to figure out what's, which set I am here. He would... <laughs> I don't think he'll like that. Um, the thing is here, I know it would be a 2-hit KO, uh, but if he's leftovers, then it's gonna be a 3-hit KO. 
if it is a more defensive variant. So I don't think, or he won't have any speed investment. I am actually max speed um, to be able to... Um, I, I actually don't remember. I think it was for Fritz Molly or something, was adamant. I think it was something like that. Because um, I really wanted... I, I was forced to go modest. I was very forced to go modest. Um, oh, this is not ideal, though. I'm, I kind of want to see his speed here. I really want to see it. Though, as stated here, he's very likely to go for a rest here after surviving a Moonblast. But that's kind of alright, I think. Because then it's up to the gamble again. Like I said, his play is... Or has to be... Rest. Oh, he's really thinking about this. Well, you think, Rick? I'm gonna go for a beer because that's that's how I roll in. Let's see. All right, so we do at speed, Emir. Please kill him. <laughs> Fuck you, Suki. <Sukir. laughs> no, Suki. That's um. We needed that. We... Sorry, Greg. That's that's really really good lead on my side. That's... That's doing a lot. And also, sorry for the dark picture here. It's actually, it was actually right while I was starting making this video, started recording. But, you know, it's it's 5, 5 p.m. in anyway, Sweden. That means pretty freaking dark. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so gonna try this one. Try to, like, not show anything. Hmm. IPA is so great. If you really like that bit of fruitiness, then it's, it's awesome. Well, let's see. So he's going to actually throw in boss wall here. That's the thing, though. Is he scarfed or not? He's gotta be, right? He's gotta be. He fought a bit long enough. I'm gonna bring Baltasar. Just gonna scout the damage, really. Really wanna see superpower. Poison jab, alright. So we took that right. Just gonna go for. Uh, I think a knockoff here. I think Rotom is fairly obvious. Yeah. So Rotom's gonna come in. Actually, Necrozma. That's great. That's. Uh, that's not gonna help me a whole lot. As knockoff does. Decent. Drops the leftovers. Drops the leftovers. I'm gonna go for Sword Stance here. Um, he could go for Moonblast, it's more likely he would go for Stealth Rocks. There we go. So Drapion just got scarier for him. As we should be able to KO him here from with a knockoff. Though it is reduced damage. It might be dumb. Poison jab might be stronger. Is it though? I think they do roughly the same from this kind of area. Let's see. Might be dumb, but you know it is what it is. Let's see. Oh, it's close though. It's close. That's okay. The thunder wave though. That's that's kind of nasty. I won't deny that. That's really nasty. As we're gonna try go for another knockoff. I think we can pull that off. That made Buswell a lot danger more dangerous for us. Oh, he did have Earthquake. That's a decent filler move, and the cross is actually fairly offensive. Fairly offensive, as we're gonna actually pull that off. So Buswell got on a new level. 
That's not good. That's not good at all, actually. We're gonna rely on healing wish from uh, Gardevoir to come back here, and that's that's not what you want. That is definitely not what you want. Hmm. Thunder Wave really threw me off. Right here comes Hitmolly. Ooh, this is not what we wanted. This is definitely not what we wanted. Damn it, I knew I had a better play than this. I think I gotta have to let Baltasar go. And that really stinks, actually. <sighs> Let's see. So go for high jump kick. Alright, that's gonna KO, it's nothing to it, but yeah, it sucks. Sorry, Baltasar. We don't see any leftovers, which is good. As I should be able to go for a free Moon Blast here again. Hydro Kick still would do a lot of damage. I think I'm going to see Reckless. Yes. So not Unburdened. So that's a good thing. So Scarfed Unburdened is probably what he has here. Man, Drapion kind of wasted. So, you know, that was the mod that actually made or was forcing me to uh, uh, <laughs> kind of postpone this match. So, right, has poison jab. All right, that's ooh, that sucks for me. Oh, I killed also. Ooh, that was dumb, wasn't it? So we can switch up moves. Ooh, I'm gonna so regret that. I am so gonna regret that. I am so going to regret that. Lost a lot of firepower. So I'm predicting him to be sashed. So I go for Dragon Clodo, even though I'm fully aware of that. Busfoil is probably winning this game for him. And if that's the case, then that's actually quite right. That's actually quite impressive now, isn't it? <laughs> Hit Molly, he's turned 180 on us. I was so sure he was scarfed. Damn. That's actually fairly cool. That's fairly cool. He also has Rotom, so he has opportunities to kind of switch in and out here. Uh, he does decide to stay in, as I, I do believe Dragon Claw kills him. Yeah, that's that's gone. We show leftovers, so we get a feeling for what I am. Goes to Jolteon. So he has Jolteon Rotom. Um, 
John John Rotem and um, Boswell left. And Boswell is still like super annoying for me. Oh, that's gonna lock the screen, isn't it? Uh, sorry about that. It's gonna update. <laughs> there we go. Um. What is his play? Guard jump isn't overly important for this battle, I know that. Damn it, I have to bring Raikou. I'm pretty sure he goes for Hidden Power Ice, but he might as well go for a Volt Switch here. Show me. Show me Hidden Power. Did the right call. Well, that's life orbs. That's good to know. I see we'll see leftovers. And we can exchange shadow balls actually. Good at his life for but yeah, Shadow Ball is probably his strongest move against me. Leftovers keeps me healthy. Um, so he goes for Shadow Ball, that's alright. That's gonna do a rough amount of damage on me anyway. But I'm pretty sure my Shadow Ball kills him. Oh, far from it. Far from it. That's. That is not an ideal exchange from us. Alright, I'm gonna go call mind here. The reason I go for call mind is to reduce the next damage here. He actually switches out, goes to Bus Wall. Bus Wall is gonna be super annoying for me. damage on this thing. Pretty sure he can go for any move and he would be fine. That's the worst part. So I'm gonna send in Valma away, hoping he doesn't go for a Thunder Punch. And if it does, that's a very fair play. Earthquake, please. Or Leech Life, or anything. There we go, we're gonna reduce the hell out of that. That's not gonna do anything to us. Luckily, I should say. So we're gonna go for Leech Seed here, as we're gonna find out whether or not he's Scarfed. If he's not Scarfed, then that's awesome, but I'm pretty sure he is. Finally, Rotom comes. We do not outspeed Rotom. I know that. Man, you know what would have been great now? God of War. That would have been fucking great. Oh, we draws Rotom to Jolteon. Alright. Decisions, decisions. Alright, let's find out. Does he go for hidden power or not? Oh, 
Ah, nice. Ah, nice, buddy. Nice. Damn, you deserve this win so much. You deserve this win so much, buddy. Can't even deny that. He definitely deserved this win. That was a great call from his side. I do believe he still needs the Ultion though. Jam is dark. Let's see if we can actually light something here. That worked. Alright, so it goes to Boss Wall again. We're finally gonna force some damage onto him. Oh, when I say finally, I mean finally. So, right. Does it predict me to predict him? That's the question. I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch, predicting him to go for Rotom. Oh! Can I live this? Yes, I can. Can Volt Switch kill him? Yes, it can. No! <laughs> no, 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 no! No, 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 no! No! Shit. Fireball would have been way better. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. No. He must preserve this, though. He knows that. He has to preserve this. So he's going to do everything in his power. Right? You're gonna try to save this one. Fuck, you should have died. That would have been so nice. Finally pull a prediction and I'm just right out of there. Because the thing is, Rodum... Rodum survives two crunches from me, and I know that. I gotta do it. He must go into Rotom, I'm sure. No, he stayed in. He stayed in. He got me. He will get the beast boost here. Ah, oh, fuck. He was actually ready to sack this man, really. Or no, he's carved. No, still, fuck it. Whatever. He got me. Ah. Well, I needed to make that call. Ah, oh, it stinks. He will, he's, he's definitely deserving this win. Me really, really, really messing up against Itmali really, really made this sure that I would not be able to win this match whatsoever. So for what is worth, he got me. And Greg, awesome match. I was definitely trying to pull some weight in the end, but there was just no way I was going to come back. You played this beautifully. Luckily, I get the speed boost. So I get, I'm going to kind of cool, though. But yeah, there is no way I can win this. And sadly, once I switch out, um, there is just no way that um, my jol or my um, uh, what do you call it? Um, um, if I switch out to Torpedo, I won't be able to outspeed Jolteon. I do believe Jolteon just wins the match by spamming Thunderbolt. And that's just the way it is. And it really, really, really stinks. But as stated, he does deserve to win this game. There is just no way of going around it. He played his game beautifully. And Crunch will not... Like I said, if Crunch kills him, I get a, like a lucky crit here. That's the only way I'm going to win. If, if I don't pull this off, he's get this win. And that's... Like I said, it's very fair. Come on. Sharpedo. 
Oh, 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 oh. That would have been so great, like out of nowhere. Oh, fuck my life. <laughs> oh, I was, I was getting so high. Oh, oh there's the crit. No, <laughs> not there. Not there. Oh, fuck my life. Like I said, it would have been so awesome pulling this off, but Greg is on a whole other level today, and he is, like I said, he is going to deserve this win. I'm not going to do anything weird, I'm not going to go for protecting anything like that. I lose fairly here. I'm actually really glad about this game. Come on, let it all go. Let it all go, Greg. I am special defensive, but not that special defensive. I'm going to be forced to take two weakness hits, and trust me, that is not what I want to do. Um, if I had to go over one thing, I'm feeling a bit weird I went for Leech Life against... Um, oh, I was predicting Jolteon, but I actually do pack the Energy Ball. Had I pulled that off, I actually would have won here. And that is really frustrating knowing that. So I'm pretty sure Thunderbolt with Life Orb is a one-hit KO. Ooh, it is not. That's cool. That's really cool, as we at least are... He wins 1-0. I mean, I swear, if that survived, I was like, oh, fucking kill me now. So get the special defense drop, race. That's not gonna save me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> maybe, just maybe. Oh, Rotom. Why don't I have stealth rocks? Why don't I stop... Oh, I got so good of a lead, and he just out of nowhere... You know what? I got said here, he deserved this win. I am really glad it went, came down to the wire. And for what is worth, I am hating Celestila so much. It's such a terrible mon. Or it's not terrible, but it's not suiting me whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, quick rundown. Um, prediction with um, his Jolteon on my... Or actually, Greg does a, a much stronger game than I do. Uh, that is like a rough run that was happening here. I lose, um, I mean, I forced, I switched out my Celestia to Garchomp, predicting a Thunderbolt as it went from Hidden Power Ice. That is just a very, very ballsy play, and he, you just overall, that is great. But as stated there, had, had I went for an Energy Ball over Leech Life, due to the crunch, I would have won. So I feel that I definitely messed up this game, but at the same time, Greg really, really steps up here. He... He was forced back, I pushed him back with his Specs God of War. I didn't utilize as well as I was hoping. Definitely messed it up against the Hitmalee. And, um, well, Greg just, you know, he get up. He took, he took it one step on. He knew exactly what he needed to do to turn his game around. And, my God, did he do that. And the worst thing is, my Grapion was so specifically built for Buswell. And losing it so roughly here was awful. Um... I definitely knew I needed it, and it made this game even worse. And had I been timid, God of War actually would have been outspeeded to hit my lead, but I was so sure it was going to be adamant. So, it's a big mistake on my side, but it's also it's the very same reason that made Greg win this game. He plays this game really, really well. And for what it's worth, that's what battles comes down to. If you are the best battle on the field, you should be able to win, and that is exactly what Greg are. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and that was a tremendous game, so thank you, Greg, so much. Actually, even if I lose, I kind of feel like I lost. I, I lost worthy, is what I'm trying to say. It played like a better game than I did. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And, yeah, I'll see you next video. Until then, of course, take care. Bye. <laughs>